first of all, hi, my name is Katya. I'll be presenting our joint work on the adding political orientation to the Parliament Corpora. And if we start with the um, first of all, yes, I think we already heard a lot about the Parliament project but, and the parliamentary corpora in general, uh, but again, just to emphasize the parliamentary debates, which are in essence transcripts of parliamentary sessions of a spoken language, uh, which are also rich in valuable socio-demographic demographic metadata. Uh, within the Parliament project, we have created the multilingual set of 26 comparable corpora. This data might be a, a little bit outdated now, uh, since we are to have the 4.1 version, uh, 4.0 version with uh, additional corpora and the substantial metadata. Uh, our focus of the work was on adding uh, political orientation metadata to enrich the uh, existing corpora. And this will be released as a part of the Parliament 4.0, uh, released in the end of October. Uh, so in terms of political orientation, one of the definitions provide, um, provided is that political orientation is a set of ethical ideals, principles, or doctrines of a social movement. And basically, it provides a blueprint um, for a particular social order. Uh, which is usually defined on the political spectrum, so a model cl for classifying political actors, parties, or ideologies among one or more axes that compare them. Um, so it can have more than one dimensions, but most often is expressed through the political left to right spectrum, with left re being represented as parties of movement, so radical, progressive, and liberal, and on the other hand, right as the parties of order, conservative, traditional, and authoritarian. Uh, this representation has been in um, uh, before a subject of criticism as being too simplistic and one-dimensional, especially in the humanities and social sciences. However, it is still most often used and represented kind of a starting position on how to approach, how to adding, uh, to adding metadata to uh, existing corpora. Uh, with this, we have looked into different sources that could provide us with this metadata, and we have gathered information on political orientation of political parties from three different sources. The Chapel Hill Expert Survey Europe, an expert data set on which I will say a few words more um, in the native part of the presentation, uh, where we have used two, uh, two uh, separate files. First is the chess uh, trend file, which offers an uh, overview of gathered information from 1999 to 2019, and additionally, a separate chess 2019, since some of the, admitted, uh, some of the values were omitted from the trend file. Uh, we have also looked at the Wikipedia entries on, on political parties, as well as providing an option for corpus compilers to add their knowledge to our, uh, our corpora. So for the Chess Europe data set, uh, like I said, this is an expert data set with built-in contextual and domain knowledge. This represented our strong starting position as it is provided uh, from the experts and each individual uh, political party has been evaluated by at least four uh, political scientists. This was then later uh, extended to cover all of the, it, it includes 85 distinct variables on a given political position for each individual party and year covered. And first and foremost, for political orientation, we have first looked at the Lurgan variable, which um, emphasizes the party's position in relation to its overall ideological stance on a scale from zero to 10, with five noting the center. Later, we decided, since this represented a very um, large uh, wealth of information, to also uh, add uh, the integration of all 85 chess variables into our corpora. So, like I said, it's a wealth of data of great value, but however, it does come with several drawbacks. The chess is missing the non-EU countries and autonomous regions, which are included in the parliament, namely, for example, Ukraine and for autonomous regions, Catalonia and Galicia. 
uh, it also does not cover all political parties that we have included in the parliament. Uh, we have checked and we have around 41% match, uh, as well as the fact that the data set covers the period up to 2019, but the parliament extends to 2022. Um, in, with those drawbacks, we uh, had to look for other sources that might provide us with additional information. So we handled, um, we looked at the Wikipedia for, for uh, facilitating manual extraction of information. So the parties or abbreviations from Parliament and Chess were matched to uh, look for um, and provide additional layer of data. Uh, we looked at the um, Wikipedia info boxes. This is where the um, labels were extracted from. And uh, in case of the, if this was not available, we looked in depth through the uh, entry, looking through the English version of the page. If this was not available, we looked at the translation of a Wikipedia page in the native language of Paris country. Uh, and in terms of what we were able to cover from um, 932 entities in the parliament, we uh, were um, the only 20 entities or 2.2% could not be assigned a value. Um, whilst we were looking uh, at the uh, values in the Wikipedia, these were the cat uh, categories that we were able to, uh, to, to use uh, on the scale from far left to far right with um, more granular approach to it. Uh, for example, if we return to the previous side, slide we have in the box, we have center to center left orientation and we have left this as it is. Um, and we've uh, collected so around uh, 13 or 14 different values with five outside of the left to right scope. Uh, lastly, we have the encoder supplied orientations where the um, Compilers of the corpus were able, were offered an option to add their knowledge to the corpus. Uh, for each encoder, uh, we have provided to them an ID and they are responsible for the orientation data that I, they have included. This was mainly done to mark political parties that were not covered by Wikipedia, but is currently employed only in three corpora for Ukraine, Portugal, and Belgium. Um, then for the how the data was actually encoded uh, the parliament corpora uh, as well as those values are encoded in the xml following the tei guidelines uh, however the procedure on how to add the um, value so that it wouldn't be uh, inserted directly into the xml or the corpora is the fact that we have first prepared the tcp files which were pre-populated with political party abbreviations and then we, um, with XSOT script, uh, was translated, so translating TCP data into TEI. We have also provided uh, pointers to taxonomies categories, uh, where we have provided an explanation in uh, different languages. So for political orientation taxonomy, which refers to the Wikipedia labels. And on the other hand, the checks taxonomy for, with explanation for all 85 variables that we have provided. Um, and this is one of the examples of the encoding of all of the types of uh, information that we were able to gather. Uh, we have used the state element to uh, provide values for the encoder, the Wikipedia, as well as the chess sources. Uh, the chess uh, values are numerical, the whole data set is numerical, and we have not mapped it just to preserve the scope and the structure of the data which um, has been created for. Uh, then we have another um, example of the taxonomy where we, this is from the chess variable um, political um, taxonomy, where we have the description of different terms, for example, ideological positions, where not only the explanation is provided, but we also provide the scale in which the value um, should be interpreted. And basically, okay, this was a bit quicker than I thought, but uh, for the conclusions, we have um, basically captured political orientation or information on political orientation for more than 350 political parties uh, with using three different sources, so chess, Wikipedia, and encoder options. 
where the chess, Wikipedia, uh, chess um, data sets provided an expert data on numerical scale, uh, which allows us to trace changes in orientation over the years, uh, as well as providing large number of other variables on various issues that could be of use later for, res uh, for research. Um, we have um, tried to first uh, fill the gaps with the missing data um, uh, by um, gathering the information from Wikipedia and comparing the uh, data between, uh, as well as a, um, facilitating the additional layer uh, to compare the data between sources. And with the encoder, we have enabled gathering the data from partners that do know their political parties in their own countries. So for the future work, uh, first of all, this has been concluded recently. So first we would like to produce an analysis of what has been gathered, uh, specifically analysis first on the political orientation. So comparison across the parliament corpora to see what has been created, uh, what has been gathered. And on the other hand, uh, the analysis of the chess variables as they are still some missing gaps for other um, issues, for example, uh, towards uh, attitudes toward uh, EU integration or corruption are still missing some of the data. So we need to figure out or see how much of the corpus, individual corpora are actually covered by it. Uh, as well as we are hoping to utilize this newly added metadata to research the role of political orientation within the Slovenian parliamentary debates. Um, and lastly, we will be using these, uh, the, um, the metadata on the shared task on ideology and power identification within the CLEF 2024 conference. And this is all from my side. Uh, thank you very much for this presentation. Um, uh, you talked about some criticism about uh, in relation to this single dimensional left to right um, you know, political orientation. Uh, at the same time, the taxonomy includes big tent category, which actually all of the above or both. Uh, could you uh, elaborate a bit more on the decision to include this category into your taxonomy if it is saying anything about chess, if uh, that is included as a possibility, as an option? Um, so specifically with the uh, political orientations that are outside the left to right scope, this has been a part of the something that we were not able to predict. We were looking at the Wikipedia entries in the info boxes and for, for, for majority we were able to identify like the left to right spectrum, but then we had specific parties that did have these um, out of the scope um, uh, values, for example, Big Tent or uh, Pirate Party, for which we can't really say to like force it into the left to right spectrum. We uh, then just um, used it, but had it a bit separate from the spectrum. So collect the data, but don't force it into the spectrum because that would probably not be, would not be okay. Probably you answered the slide to this question, but and also you mentioned this, but anyway, um, have you thought about maybe uh, applying some non-linear uh, annotation as, uh, uh, of, uh, across several dimensions uh, in order to open more possible further interpretations? <laughs> yes, that was definitely probably one of the next steps that we can do. Um, however, I think this is something that we need to discuss in consolidation and Hopefully, yes, um, that, that would be one of the logical steps to proceed with this. Yeah, because some parties are to present themselves as, as being right wing, but in fact, uh, in, in, for example, in, in relation to the economy, they are very, very left wing. And, uh, and Yes. You have created uh, such a nice data. Uh, could, uh, 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 yeah, we have some, some very interesting plans for the future, but maybe uh, have you thought about applying first uh, some kind of clustering based analysis in order to, to look just maybe for potential outliers that outliers. Would, would sign, that could, could signal some, some problems with, uh, with classification? Yes, uh, I think this would be a great idea just to see the outliers and see how well it correlates with the metadata that we have gathered. Ho probably we should also look into the reliability of the metadata to, to see because through the speech 
you have rogue speakers, you have all sorts of different phenomena which are not in line with their political orientation per se. So yes, um, these kind of, this should be one of the next steps. Thank you. Thank you.